Andrew McCart, IFL TV and Association with MTK Global. I'm here at Lock End Boxing Gym in Edinburgh. With me I've got the British. You can you can rattle yeah. it off, what are you? British and Commonwealth. Um, I'm not the IBF youth champion anymore Vacant. actually, but I, I think that's vacant now, so British and Commonwealth banner my champion. Sounds good. Sounds good, yeah. Good stuff. Well, I've just came into the gym here. Um, I've just witnessed you do 10 solid, was it 10 rounds? Oh, it must have been a bit So I was up there, 10 yeah. solid good rounds against two very good amateurs. I'll yeah. name them Sean Spence and me, Matty McHale, because yeah. uh, they're, they're over there, they're probably already yeah. mentioned them. So uh, yeah, just how you feeling? I'm obviously first spot back uh, after the new year. How are you feeling? No, good, I'm feeling good. Obviously I've had I enjoyed my Christmas and New Year and that. Um, I've been ticking over for a, for a wee while, running and doing bits and bobs, but it was good to get back in the ring and get punched in the face again. I've missed it. So. Um, I, as you say, cracking rounds, two good amateurs, um, so just what I needed at this point, definitely. You, you enjoy getting punched in the face, is that what you said? I love it, I love it. <laughs> Psycho, <laughs> Psycho pal. I just want to go back to uh, a couple of months for your fight against Cash Farouk. I mean, I was sitting ringside, for me, one of the, I've watched loads of fights throughout the year. For me, that was one of the best fights I've seen in a yeah. long time. I mean, two Scottish boys going at it, there's nothing better for me as a no. Scotsman. Do you know what I mean? I enjoyed it in there, I've watched the, the fight back a few times. You felt like you won in the ring. You've yeah. obviously watched it back yourself. Yeah. I mean, there's been sort of mixed reviews on yeah. people, what people thought Cash won and blah, blah, blah. But you've watched it back yourself. What's your, your reaction to it? Yeah, no, the more I watch it, the the more frustrated I get with, them, with the uproar. Um, mm. Because, yeah, don't get me wrong, a close fight, uh, a really good, hard fight. Uh, but nowhere near what, what some folk are, are claiming on Twitter, claiming robberies, worst decisions I've ever seen or something. Come on, let's be serious. Like. Go and watch it and take your heart. Like, you know what I mean? The advice. Obviously, the, these folk. Some, some, some would have been neutral, but I just don't understand the, the uproar. Like, I've, I've seen sense from some people. They've been saying that a close fight, nowhere near a robbery, mm -hmm. could have went either way. Blah, blah blah. I'm happy. I can take that. But these folk that are that are what a what a shout and scream robbery. It, it certainly wasn't. I've seen robberies in my time, and, and that just simply wasn't wasn't a robbery. Yeah, so for not. me, it brings it wasn't a robbery. Like no. I said, it could have been either way. It depends what what it's the eye test. What you yeah. like to see? Do you like pressure, yeah. or do you score the scoring shots? Which seems yeah. to be cash had yeah. the pressure, and you landed the scoring shots. Yeah. So, I mean, so that's that's where the, the, the fight can be scored there. Going forward, I mean, just talk about the rematch. Do you think it's not going to be an immediate rematch? I don't think. Do you feel like? Wait till it's built up a little bit more. Maybe you have a, a European title on the line, or there yeah. could be some sort of French world title, and maybe let's get the hydro. Is that yeah, what you're hoping for? Yeah, 100%. I think we made it. I think we sort of underestimated that fight um, beforehand. Um, we're making it at the Emirates because I've, I believe that people were struggling to get seats uh, on the night because it was it was that full and that sold out. So I think it's it's um, inevitable that it's going to be um, the rematch will be in the hydro. Uh, but as we say, there's a, a lot of things happening in boxing. We don't know. I don't know what what our next move is yet. I'll probably, hopefully, maybe defend the British. I need to speak to my team, see what they want to do. But I think from brief discussions, I seem to be that we'll defend the British and then hopefully try and win the European this year. And, and I'm more than happy to come back to Scotland and make hopefully if all goes well and make my first defence against um, Cash. You've uh, made, you said that. You've said I would, that before. I would, I, would, I, would, I would love. I would love it to be in Edinburgh. Um, mm. But thank you. I would love that, um, and it, it, it's a possibility. It really is. Um, but obviously, the Hydro is probably the the, the favourite uh, venue for for if the fight was to go ahead again and the rematch was to happen. It would probably would be the Hydro. But but you never know. Um, I, I would love to come back to Edinburgh, and, and I think if I go away and win the British title and and make my first defence against Cash, then I think I, I deserve to have it in Edinburgh. So, mm. and I know my team will do everything they can to to do what, what pleases me, so we'll see what happens, but there's a, a long road ahead before, but um, uh, please believe me, I'm up for the rematch as well. You mentioned before to me that the British title is what you wanted and stuff like that. Are you the traditional type of guy, you want to defend it three times, but outright, like you said, you want the European title next, that yeah. can propel you to bigger and better things, but you might have to vacate the British title. Yeah. So if you had your choice, would you like to defend it three times but outright, or if something bigger and better comes along, then you'll vacate the British title? Yeah, well, I've got, that's what I mean, I've got a tough de decision on my hands. Um, as you say, you need to defend it three times. That'll probably take me. Well, to, yeah, yeah, just it'll take me I, this whole 2020 mm -hmm. to, to win that belt outright. And uh, it's no secret; it's tough for me to make this weight. So, if I'm going to have a few more goals at, at making the weight and that, then I would rather go as far as I can. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so 
so say a, a defender once and an, an opportunity comes my way, I'll, I'll take it with both hands. So uh, just whatever my team put in front of me, I'm, I've made this clear before, and I think a lot of people know this now that I don't back down from a challenge. So whatever they throw at me, I'm, I'm more than ready to take it. So I'll just keep my feet on the ground, keep training, um, and I'll be ready for whatever whatever's next. You seem to be in that sort of Josh Taylor-esque trajectory with your career. I mean. How many fights are you now? Eight. Eight fights, Eight seven fights. British Commonwealth champion. Yeah. I mean, next fight could be for the European title. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's the dream sort of thing. So uh, it's mad to be how fair. How far are you off from uh, the title? To be fair, it's quite mad because I quite possibly, I quite, I quite possibly could be um, British Commonwealth and European champion under ten fights, mm. and uh, pff, I, I don't think many. Fighters have done that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. I think Lawrence O'Coley's done them, but I don't think it was under ten, maybe under mm. fifteen. But it is impressive, and I would love to do something like that. Um, but again, I just need to to leave it to my team. Um, but I'm I'm ready for whatever. I know you want to rush, but I want to talk about Josh Taylor as well. But I want to bring in your sparring partner, Sean. My well then, boys. Uh, this, these are the two boys that gave you some work today. Yeah. Uh, team Scotland, amateur. Just give, tell me a little bit about you boys, how good is this kid? How good is this kid? He's very good. Yeah. Me and Lee Special, were actually, we were uh, teammates as amateurs, um, and I, Lee's smaller than me, but I used to spar all the time, and my god, Lee was a harder work than even the bigger guys. I sparred bigger guys that can had 10 kilos on me, but Lee was always, always the hardest work. He'd just always been special. He's a special athlete, and for his weight as well, he fucking punches. I tell you that for a fucking <laughs> <laughs> You hear that? You're, you're a top athlete yourself, you mean you're both. Scottish champions as well, British champions, that right? Both yeah, British, yeah, yeah, both, yeah, both yeah. British champions. I mean, you're not, you're not yeah, really just got some boys, guys who pulled up the street to give this kid some spawn lessons. How did yeah. you find the spawn mine? I found it good, like, that's, for, I think, first spar back for all of us, oh, and so it was some hard sparring that, you don't get that every day, you know, yeah. that's what brings you on, isn't it? So, so what's no, the what's the goal for life. you? What's the, the goal for this year for you two? I mean, the reason I've got you in here is because I've seen. Lee come from an amateur to turn the pro ranks yeah. and he's, he's always in front of my camera now. Is it going to be the same sort of thing we used to? Maybe Commonwealth Games coming in front of my camera as a pro and build well, yourself up? I'll just take it as it comes, you know, one step at a time, hopefully. Scottish title this year, British, and then the aim is the main goal, Commonwealth Games. 2022. 2022. Burning up. UK, yeah, yeah, so I'll make it better for us. But but looking I'm, any further than I'm that, the same as Matty. Just Commonwealth Games obviously the end goal, but anything else you can get in between that, international medals, international tournaments, um, even going to Europeans, Worlds, obviously Lee went there as an amateur mm -hmm. himself, Europeans, Worlds both, um, and that's something we want to do, build up to that, and then turn over, he got a, a great deal turn over, he's, look what he's done, exactly. so we want to get to the heights, and then that could be an option. Well, the reason I'll get you in the camera, because I always like to promote Scottish boxers, so yeah. I want to see you, the next guy's right. coming through, Matt McHale yeah. on the left, Sean Spence on the right. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, Back to you, champ. I want to obviously talk about. We're both good friends with Josh Taylor. I mean, huge news yesterday. Aye. Him signing with MTK as an advisory deal, and then obviously promotional deal with top rank and Bob Arum. I mean, just what's your thoughts on that? Oh, I think it's unbelievable for for Josh himself. Um, he's he's at the <coughs> top of the sport just now. He's he, everybody's raving about him. He's um, he's he's in line for some super super fights and. I think it's a great move for him, uh, he needs to, to look after himself, uh, as we all know this sport is is ruthless, mm -hmm. you can be one punch away from you know, not making a penny again in it, so he needs to take these opportunities when he gets them and, and um, I believe that this move will make him make him become a superstar if he's not already one. No, I'm pretty sure he's the last one before God, the main goal for Josh is undisputed against Ramirez, Aye, all four titles, Grand Magazine, yeah. Belt, all this and that's, he's, that's the right move. Uh, he's Both a perfect mate for him eh, if he, if, to make that fight. So Both for top rank, so it's easy to make quick prediction then. If Josh was to face Ramirez, stupid question because <laughs> I know what your answer is going to be, <laughs> but just give me uh, your thoughts on that fight. To be fair, I've seen, I've not seen much of that Ramirez. Obviously, I've seen him against that hooker. He looks like he's he's rough and tough and ready, but I just think Josh is on another level to, to all these guys at 140 pounds. I, I believe his challenges are going to be at 147, and that's when he'll be in real tough, hard fights. And I, and I can't wait to see him evolve in their fights because that's when people will see how good he really is. I, I still don't think people realise how special he is mm. until they... Oh, <laughs> what more can you do? Undisputed world champion, but I believe when he goes to 147 and starts giving the guys like Spence, Crawfords and that and starts fighting these guys, that's when 
we'll see how good he really is. And I, I know how good he is, but the other folk who haven't seen him grow up through the coming through the years and that they'll they'll see this, they'll see how good he is. Are you hoping for Josh to get uh, Terence Crawford? Terence right? Crawford, get me on the undercard. I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you much longer, Lee. Nice one. Thanks for your time. Thanks for the Spyfield TV, and uh, hope to catch up with you soon. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Lee.